Hey everyone, Jeff here, and welcome to the beginning of our journey into Halls of Torment. Um, the developer was kind enough to give me an early key. Uh, I will note that there's some things that might be a little glitchy from the actual release version, or the early access version, that is coming out on the 24th. Uh, I believe that's like two days after this video drops. It is only going to be $5, and if you have not seen this before, this is a mishmash of, I would say, Diablo and... Uh, Vampire Survivors. It is very aesthetically pleasing if you played Diablo 1 at all. Or, you know, really any of those old 90 games that have that same kind of feel, though Diablo really stands out. I'm just going to buy whatever meta progression we have. Um, this game has, like, this interesting equipment system where you can bring certain things into the into the dungeon with you and then you can like send them back out through the well and then it also has a quest system which is kind of like um you know similar to your vampire survivors like this is what you need to do to unlock certain things although it's more straightforward so what we're going to be doing is taking this starting character now there's supposed to be six characters on early access from what i understood from the um Steam description, but we only have two unlocked right now, so we probably have to like unlock them or it's going to release in a couple days. So yeah, this is it. You can toggle auto attack. You can also toggle, toggle auto aim. I don't know why my words don't work right now. And then we get our typical auto battler roguelike choices here. Let's take movement speed. So Every character starts off with their own basic attack. This guy has this little um, little cone sword slash. The archer has a bow and arrow. Surprise, surprise. And the goal is to survive as long as you can. Like uh, it says 30 minutes. I assume it ends at 30 minutes if you survive after like a boss, but I wouldn't know because we haven't gotten there yet. Um, it does get kind of difficult. I'm gonna take range so that we're hitting a bigger area. So you have this basic attack and then there's slots for six skills up here. You pick them up from elites and the little like talisman looking icon on the bottom of the screen. Or currently on the bottom of the screen. This is where the arrow is, uh, attack speed. And that is how you get new abilities and whatnot. And you unlock new abilities through the quest system. So there's not too much unlock to the start, but they're continuously adding new stuff. Um, the music, the sound effects, everything's pretty great about this one. I'm fairly excited and just really pleased that they shipped me a key. So shout out to them. Um, I'm going to turn up the volume just a tiny bit. It was a little low before, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like hearing the bones crunch in the skeletons. Something very satisfying about that. So one problem that I've had, well, not a problem, but one like strategy thought I've had when playing this game is, are you supposed to be rushing to the edges to pick up these items? Or should you be, um, should you be hanging around the center to level up as fast as possible? And I don't know yet. I'm going to play a lot of this. It's my intention anyway. Kind of prep me for D4. Uh, and once I figure that out, I'll definitely let everyone know. But currently, I'm like of the like splitting the difference and like slowly progressing in one direction. Let's take strength too. I think most of the games in this genre, you know, you do better when you defeat enemies faster. Like, I think that's just a rule. You get more income, more XP. And then we have an elite. I do think it's, it feels better because in the, in the demo version, I think it's, it was called the prelude version. I don't know if you guys played it. I think a lot of people did. It's pretty great. Um, you felt pretty weak at the start, I'll say. I don't feel nearly as weak now in this version of the game. 
I uh, still get run over at like 10 minutes if I'm not properly, you know, using my time. But I feel like I can actually heal things. All right, so we get a new spell. Um, I'm going to take Lightning Strike. I tried Ring of Blades. Um, it's fine. At base level, it doesn't do a ton. From what I could tell. One thing I don't know is that once you get further towards the end, if um, you get crazy upgrades to items, you know, like uh, multiple projectiles and stuff like that. So we'll see. There's a lot of stuff locked behind meta progression. So if you like meta progression games and vampire survivors, this is one I'd highly recommend checking out. Um, oh, there's some good choices here. Cone size. I just want damage and attack speed. I'm just going to... That's my strategy for this run, is just take as much damage as I can. Duration. I don't think any of our stuff has duration. Just take crit chance and... Block. Also of note, the, um... The environment has vastly improved. It used to just be like this one solid background with like a few pillars throughout the whole way. Now we've got these like other sections going on, which is just nice, nice little touch, I think. Uh, There's a lot of skeleton boys. I'm going to set the ground on fire and stand in it. It's a good strategy. All right, loot box. Give me loot. Well, we already have a um, pair of boots on. I guess we should just take this helmet. Now, what we can do is there's that well in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Um, we can go put that helmet into the well and it will um, be there for us on our future runs to bring into said dungeon. And it doesn't seem like um, you lose stuff if you die in the dungeon. That's what I was kind of worried about. But uh, from what I could tell from earlier, that's not the case. But I think we'll, we'll definitely like check after this run to see what happens. But yeah, if you want to see more of this game, please let me know in the comments. I'm definitely enjoying playing it and would be glad to uh, record all that. Uh, do we take attack speed or do we just take crit strike or lightning strike? I think we just attack speed all day, right? But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this one. Um, it's pretty cool. There's multiple maps. Oh, there's at least two maps right now. I don't know how many more maps there's going to be, but we'll see in a few days. The art style is just lovely. I would love to see like a uh, a forest similar to like Diablo 2 Act 3. Even though I kind of hate Act 3. Mostly because of the search for the flail. If Y'all know what I'm talking about if you played Diablo 2. Um, but this art style is just, it's just fantastic. As like a, like a kid who grew up in the 90s, this is great to me. Uh, oh, something else to mention that's kind of impressive. If the enemy has AI, uh, it's not advanced or anything, but, um, and I'm not talking about the bosses and their attacks. Like, bosses have attacks, and that's fine. But the actual individual enemies seem to have AI. Um, if you'll notice, the skeletons are always just going to walk towards us in a straight line. And, you know, that's kind of to be expected, right? The skeletons. The little imps... Those guys, if you look at them, they'll back up from you. They, like, try to backstab you. And I think that's kind of neat. Uh, not just because of, like, them, but I think any enemies that get added, if they have any kind of, like, functionality like that, that's really interesting. Um, what's the difference between block strength and base defense? Defense reduces damage taken by a ratio. Okay, percent damage and block strength. Um, if the block value equals the 
unreduced damage of an attack, the chance to block is 50%. If the block value exceeds the damage by four times, the chance to block is 100%. Oh, so you could just like straight up block attacks. That's interesting. Okay, let's, let's mess around with block a little bit then. So maybe you can go full on tanky build and just not be able to get hit by like smaller enemies. That's cool. I definitely saw multi-hit somewhere with this game too, or maybe multi-cast, which interests me greatly for the like spells. Mm, crit chance. I do want movement speed, but crit chance just seems too good. What is this? What did we just pick up? Oh, oh, we got the vacuum. Okay, well that's probably gonna be good, huh? Base defense. Now let's take. You know, let's take the um, lightning strike. See if we can get lightning strike two or whatnot. I'm just gonna hit damage. Not really look at anything else. So the run timers are about 30 minutes. Um, a little long, I think, for the genre, but uh, I'm okay with it. I do tend to prefer the 20 minute runs. Even though I'll spend 40 minutes on a 20 wave potato run, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane. Got him. What'd he drop? Loot? A ring? I would, I would like 10% crit chance. So I think now what we want to do is I'm going to go to get this spell here in the in the southern part of the map. There is no map as far as I can tell either. But um, I'm going to grab that and then we're going to like fight near ish the well. And if things start getting bad, I'm going to send um, at least one of my pieces of equipment back to the back to base. Just Kind of a terrible idea there just to waste that uh, fire for no reason. Mowing things down. All right, we got mages out here throwing stuff. There's a lot of enemies right now. Give me something good. All right. Conductivity again, it just increases um, crit chance and stun. I'm not really too high on that. I'm just gonna take dedication too. More movement speed seems like something you probably want. You can turn on and off auto attack and auto aim. I'm playing with auto attack on, but not auto aim. I think auto aim is pretty, pretty like pretty bad for your survival chances <laughs> until you get really strong and then uh, auto attack just saves your um, hand from you know early onset uh, what's the word tendonitis is that that's what I'm looking for I don't know I'm having troubles today in all aspects of life 10% uh, chance for multiple attacks Applies to main character in all abilities if possible. Yes, I would like to try multi-hit. Is that like a rare upgrade? Because double lightning strike seems insane. Um, lightning strike two conversion, 30% attack speed. Yeah, that's, that seems okay. So lightning strike is leveling up what's happening um but it seems like each time we're offered it's a different set of stats kind of similar to um nordic ashes uh one of the best looking games in this genre uh proficient stance two area cone da critical damage and cone width this seems pretty good I would say, oh, there's a skeleton elite who has a big old shield blocking my attacks. It's incredibly rude.
They do seem to be doing pretty well right now. Oh, he says, as his final words, as the slimes come for us. Oh, there's a vacuum that just dropped. I would like to pick up said vacuum. Give me the levels. Uh, I don't like really any of this. I'm gonna take HP regen. We have 700 HP. I feel like more regen is probably better. Um, crit chance? Yeah, yeah, that seems to be good. down is this ability, jeez. Maybe I'm just slow. Burn them. Consume a co total of 10 potions. Nice. I don't know what that unlocked, but I'm sure it was something. So you'll get unlocks for like meta progression in addition to um, in addition to like abilities and stuff. Uh, here come the demon dogs. It's great. Really wanted to get that ability first because these guys would just run straight at you like like it's nothing. And then we're gonna try to like move back north to pick up all the stuff that we've just left on the ground. Phantom needles, arcane splinters. I'm gonna take arcane splinters. Um, it's kind of like caltrops. Is the best way I'd describe it in the way it functions. So we should be able to pick up quite a bit of XP here on our way back up towards the um, towards the well. I don't really want to throw anything back in the well though, because it's gonna make us kind of weak. All right, um, let's take range. That guy just got turned into a pile of goop. Electricity is pretty good. Electricity, uh, lightning. Oh, his shield's gone and he got a new health bar. That's fine, he's dying. Hopefully he drops a spell for us. Nice. Um, I'm gonna take Ring of Blades now. Oh, also items, weapon abilities, items, weapons, abilities. All of these things appear to have tags. Physical summon projectile. Physical projectile melee. I think Ring of Blades. Uh, there's significantly more going on now than there was at the start of the run. One thing I like about this one is you don't have to not get hit. Um, there's certain games in this genre that like do the Zelda system where you get like one heart or two hearts and that's kind of it. I would like, I would like attack speed on lightning strike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get abil um, ability to level three and get the option to select um, ability upgrade. I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm super interested. It looks like King Leorks here. Um, I'm gonna keep running away. The Pikemen. The Pikemen skeletons are kind of scary. A little on the fast side.
Um, proficient stance. Tone width and 10% range. That seems fantastic. Ah, we just have to dodge through. Not much to really do about that. We passed 15 minutes, which is pretty good. If you don't build right, you can definitely lose faster than this. I've played a decent little bit now. I think I've got like... I don't know, five or six hours in the game so far. Um, great chance, I get. I don't know, I just like the idea of doing more damage. Come on. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. Defeat the Skeleton Lord. Give us loot. Oh, I already have... This. Oh, we can take this Iron Ring. It's 10 damage that goes to our other slot. That's nice. Just hoping for a spell, but that's just not how it always works. Um, we can take... Bone and Wit. We're gonna get our uh, our main attack here to cover half the screen. Ideally, Put all this XP on the ground. We're kind of crushing right now. Ring of Blades, crit chance, cone size. No, I'm just gonna take general cone size. It's very apparent that right now most of our damage is coming from our main attack. There are potions in the barrels, and we're down a little bit of HP, so it might, um, might be a good idea to go after that. Because HP regen certainly isn't fast. I haven't Obviously, I haven't taken very much of it, but... Ooh. I'm, like, intently focused right now. Um, crit damage bonus? That seems good with all of our crit. At least in theory. I'm not sure how much. The, I guess it's 20% more damage, probably. That's how I would assume it works. Alright, we're like just murdering these guys. Can you murder a uh, skeleton? Is that a thing? It's already dead. Or does it have to have a, like, uh, a brain? Um, I'm going to... Put an item back here. I think we're going to put 10 base attack damage back. Binders, keepers. All right, we're getting all the achievements right now. It's a good thing we got ten minutes left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Things are getting a little wild. I say I do really enjoy playing this. Game. I don't know something about it. It has that it factor that I think I think if you play this genre enough, you kind of get it that like some some of these games just have it and some don't, unfortunately. That's not to say some of the games are bad. It's just some games make you want to play a lot more. And that's kind of what Vampire Survivors and Vertado struck for me initially. 
Um, this is kind of scratching that itch right now. I think we should probably get HP regen. And again, maybe we should have gotten defense, because I don't know how much we're going to be able to dodge getting hit right now. Maybe we get a good level up here that does something good. Uh, block strength and base health. Block some attacks. Be nice. I'd love to take out that uh, the boss mage, but we're not in a good. There's too many things going on. Too many enemies. Teleported right in front of us. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. Lightning Strike 4. I really don't want that. I think I'd rather have just attack speed. I am actively looking for um, barrels and stuff. Oh, nice. He's going to die. Survive 20 minutes. Um, hello? Electrifying strike. Enemies stunned by lightning strike also get electrified. Electrify effect. Electrify deals damage of 100. Each tick based on the amount of stacks applied to enemy. Each stack decreases the tick time. One second. Yeah, okay. Sure. Lightning's better. That's cool. I wonder if that applies to all abilities. I'm not deep enough in the game yet to know, but that is an exciting prospect. Arcane Splinter seems okay here. I think I'm gonna take movement speed though. Oh, we've got tiny dogs now. Tiny dogs are a little bit scary. I'm going to take more HP regen. Oof. Our HP is slowly decreasing. I wouldn't say we're dying just yet, but we're... That prospect of making it all 30 minutes right now is looking a little grim. But that's okay. Oh, frick. Well, it was a lot better until I just decided to run into all those enemies. Cone size. Um, we'll just take more regen, I guess. And we're gonna stand in this fire. I need a potion. Desperately. Or a vacuum. A vacuum would be good. Oh, they're strong. There's so many. There are so many. Maybe we should have gotten more block. You can just ignore them. All right, um, block strength? It's definitely maybe not a bad idea. Okay, we're, I think we're screwed now. Unless, unless we potion, potion, come on game. That's money, not a potion. <laughs> Words of summon skeletons now. We're on 32. It's a, that's a low number. These guys have a lot of HP, dude. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Level 38, 22 minutes. Not bad. We got 2,000 gold. We have our DPS meter. Um... 
It looks like... Ooh, is this Electrify? Okay, Electrify did a lot. Um, obviously, our main attack did the most interesting. I think the completed quest window is broken also because we definitely um, did this. It unlocked the Necromancer's Clutch. I can't use words. And then it unlocked adjacent quests. So you can kind of like target farm stuff. We already have Archer unlocked. Not in Prelude. We're not technically in Prelude, but um, I guess this will unlock here. Defeat the Lich. So it unlocks the Cleric. We um, defeated the Imp Chieftain. I had already done that, though. Maybe there's... Oh, Path of the Sword. This is what we did. So we got money. We got new types of boots. Oh, we unlocked multi-hit one. All right. We unlocked another item some blessings all right let's go look at the blessings and stuff we unlocked and then that'll be it for today's video and then we'll play more so we have damage hp regen those have been added to the pool so we can take damage 10 percent damage is not irrelevant either hp regen and let's take more damage uh we can't take damage unfortunate just take um movement speed probably seems good yeah so we have unlocked meta progression and then we have our item stash over here that i was talking about so if we go talk to this guy be like hey can i oh oh it costs money to recover them okay well whatever that's fine another reason to grind but yeah this is halls of torment um again it comes out on the 24th it is only $5, and it looks pretty sweet. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I'm definitely going to play more either way. But yeah, I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Bye.